part of the motor mount that clamps onto the mast is 3D printed TPU. That will give more friction and hopefully provide a bit of vibration isolation. It took a while to wrestle the wires through, but eventually I got the motors in place, and they're attached with some big long M5 screws that go through the entire motor mount. The VESC needs to be configured, so I did that, got the motor spinning, concludes the build, and now it's time to head out to the lake for the first test. Oh yeah, we we got tons of power. <laughs> I can hear ventilation though, I don't like that. If you turn too sharp, it starts to ventilate. Yeah, the paddleboard's cruising. I don't know that this is spoiling speed. Maybe the propellers just come too close to the hull. The flow is separating from the bottom on the back of the hull. And then the propellers just start to ventilate once the flow separates. Hopefully that camera is still recording in there. So this angle definitely gives us a better view of the air sneaking in. You can see how it's clinging to the mast right above the motor mount. This is probably also because the motor mounts themselves are riding through the water at a positive angle of attack. So there's a low pressure on the top side. So there's a chance I could reduce ventilation a lot by redesigning the motor mounts. It also looks like the side rails I glued on are introducing a lot of additional air bubbles under the boat, so I should probably take those off. Oh, Toby's down. <laughs> Almost tipped over there. Feeling good about this one. Feel like my feet are in a good spot. Not too far apart like they usually are. On this day, I tried adding some little anti-ventilation plates around the masts to hopefully prevent air from traveling down into the props. And it actually seemed to kind of help a bit. Definitely not a total fix to the propeller ventilation issue, but now it only seems to severely ventilate when you're in a super tight turn. I've done a ton of tinkering with this project, and at this point Toby was performing decently well. He works perfect for getting me up on foil and for riding around, but once you really start to pull hard on the ropes while in a turn or go through waves, the ventilation problems emerge. Out of everything I've tried, the current configuration definitely works the best, but unfortunately I think this boat still has a fundamental flaw with its bottom side geometry, and that is the deep V hull shape, which would not exactly be an easy fix. In hindsight, using a V-shaped hull was probably